Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. How are you? Have you ever wondered if there's a Petco in, a, in other countries? I found one in Mexico. I'm down here on vacation, and like I always do on vacation, I look for pet stores. So I found a Petco here in Mexico, and uh, let's take a look inside. Let's see if uh, it's similar to what we have up in the States. Maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. You take a look, you decide, and uh, wait for a special message I have for you at the end of this video. I think you might like it. Let's go, let's go inside and take a look. Right when you walk in, you notice a, a scaled down version of a Petco that you would see in the States. It's very well kept, very clean. It has each of the departments you'll see in the States, except perhaps uh, maybe three quarters the size of what you'd run into in a, in a store up there. They have a, a nice tank out in the aisle I think they're trying to hook you, hook you, hook you into going into the fish department with this nice tank. It's a pretty nice tank selection, and of course supplies, artificial plants, as well as other supplies that I'll show you in a second here. But of course, our primary interest are the fish. So let's go in there and take a look at them. They certainly have the tank set up in a way that uh, captures your interest, starting with some of the glowfish I talked about in a prior video. Certainly eye-catching. And you'll notice these, uh, these vertical racks that I talked about in a, prior video, in a prior video. These are the ones where they have a sump system underneath that is circulating the water through the uh, six tanks that are above each of these vertical racks. And if you look closely, you'll notice that these tanks are actually pristine. Keep in mind, it's 18.5 pesos for each dollar, so that was about a little over two bucks there for that fish. And you can see they're using a lot of plants and decor, setting up these tanks in a pretty aesthetic fashion to create some interest for sure. And I didn't see a single sick fish, didn't see any ick, any clamped fins. The fish were active, responsive, certainly responding to me actually coming up to the tank and acting hungry. Big, big hunk, and, big hunk of a snail there. And uh, some of these are ratus that uh, they should sell with a warning label aggressive in any language and uh, <laughs> beautiful grummy I think it might be a pearl grummy not sure but it's just a beautiful specimen there lots of live plants like the Petco up in uh, the States they sell the plants right out of the tanks nice selection of angels I really like that black veil angel they had in there just a real pretty fish. Of course, as they get bigger, those those uh, fins really start to really start to extend. Nice selection of live bear live bears. Great fish for for a uh, a beginning aquarist. And again, if you look at these mollies here, they're just uh, just about a buck, a little over a buck. Very nice selection of guppies. These were very very pretty. I'm not keeping guppies uh, myself, but you gotta admit those colors are pretty impressive. Nice selection of supp supplies, Aquion, some of the brands we see up in the States, and a few brands that you don't see too much of, but they did have Seachem, Seachem products. I didn't see any Fluval products. Maybe Fluval is more pet smart, but there were none, I didn't see any Fluval products here in the, in the Petco in Mexico. But you can see a very, uh, very broad selection of, of supplies. Anything you'd, you'd, you'd pretty much would need, you could find here, including siphon systems. This one by Imaginarium, again, a, a line I don't see too much of in the States, but maybe, maybe they're catching on. Similar to a Python or a Aquion system. That store was clean, nice, well-kept. 
Prices seemed normal when converted to U.S. dollars. I was very, very impressed. They had the uh, the uh, same kind of filtration I saw in the Petco in the United States where they have a sump system underneath each rack of tanks. And it's keeping those tanks looking pristine. Not too many exotic fish, really basic. You know, your basic uh, community tank fish, some very common cichlids, uh, angelfish guppies. But the ones I saw were actually very, very nice. And uh, what's my special message? My special message is this. Whenever I travel abroad, what I discover is that people are very, very similar. They're friendly, they're uh, willing to help you, and uh, hey, we're a lot more alike than we are different. I've been really pleased with the people I've been encountering down here in Mexico. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like the content in this channel, be sure to hit that bell, subscribe, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.